I get a lot of questions on my RFID uh, tutorial for Arduino where I show how to make an electronic lock using RFID. Um, my main goal in that video was to show how to implement RFID, not to uh, show how to implement the locking mechanism. But I get a lot of questions how I uh, get this solenoid connected to the Arduino because I didn't show that. So this is an um, explanation video to show how to connect the, uh, an, a solenoid to an Arduino. And so first of all, a solenoid is a really power hungry device which have a large coil in here. There are other variants as well. Here is a smaller variant uh, also that has a coil in here. And then you have a, a metallic rod uh, that goes through the coil. And... Um, so when you put a lot of current through this uh, coil, the, the lever uh, pulls up. And th this one, you usually, I believe both of these uses 12 volts. And it, as I said, it needs a lot of current. So the Arduino really can't provide enough current for this one to work. Um, so for that matter, uh, in that uh, RFID video, I used a, a relay in between. So uh, a relay board like this, which has a lot of components, is really good to use with the Arduino. Uh, you, get, you add an extra voltage in ground, and then you just connect the in pin right there to a digital pin out on the Arduino. Uh, technically, uh, there's a lot of different relays if you buy them on eBay or Amazon or something like that. Um, so the important thing to look for if you want to use them with the Arduino, for using it with an Arduino, you need to look at the sp uh, spool or the, the the coil voltage. Um, so if we look at these very different markings, let me take something to point with here. So here it says f uh, 0, 05 volt DC, and then it says 10 amps, 120 volt AC, 10 amps, 240 volt AC, and 7 amps, 240 volts AC. Uh, so these 120 and 240 volt AC is uh, and the amps is how much load and in what uh, voltage uh, that these can drive on the connecting side. So what so this in this case or a lamp in, in any other case. And the 5 volt is for the coil side that you connect to the Arduino. Uh, so, and they usually show this in very ma many different ways. Let me see if you can see this one. So here it says 7 amps, 240 volts, 7 amps, 24 volt DC. And then it says coil 5 volt DC. So this is very explanatory that the coil is 5 volts. So this one also works with Arduino. And then this module, uh, which says 10 amps 250V AC, 10 amps 30 volts DC, 10 amps 125 volts AC, and 10 amps 28 volts DC. And then you look down here in the model number, number SRD-05VDC-SL-C. So here we have 5 volt DC as well. Also, I bought this on eBay as an an Arduino relay, so except for the fact that it says 5 volt DC there, I also know that this one works with an Arduino. So how to connect this then? To get this one to work, you need a power supply. So here I have a, 
a 12 volt power supply, 3 amps, that is overkill, but still good. And either you can cut the cables or you can get one of these connectors that you just add and you get headers for the two poles of the of the um, adapter. So let me just plug this in. So by just adding these two, let's see, like this, we can activate the the solenoid. Uh, but we want to do this controlled by an Arduino. So I just have an Arduino here that is running the blink sketch. So pin 13 is going up and down. So what we'll do, we'll add ground and we'll add pin 13. So pin 13 we'll add, that's the white cable Connect that to in, black, we decided it was ground, so we add that to ground. And then we take the purple cable to be voltage plus there. And now you hear the relay start. So this is a mechanical relay, so it there's a little switch in there that switches on and off all the time. On the this board you have three connectors on the uh, high voltage side so to say. So NO, COM and NC and these stands for normally open, common and normally closed. So when there's no voltage on the on the uh, coil uh, this one is normally closed so between the common pin and the NC pin there is now a connection and between the normally open pin and common pin now when there's no power it is off so the NO goes high and uh, is connected when when the coil is activated and the other way around. So the normally closed is closed when we turn, get voltage over the coil. So now we add this power to the equation. So we add plus to the common pin and then we connect one of these to the negative side and then depending on what if we want it to be normally open or normally closed we connect it to either of these so now it is normally closed uh, normally open and when the relay is activated so is the coil or solenoid And now it's the <laughs> other way around. So this is how you interact with a solenoid uh, through the Arduino with the Arduino through a relay is one of the options which I used. So I hope this video explained a bit more on how you should do if you want to do a locking mechanism uh, according to that video. Take care. Bye.